Good day and welcome to this first segment of A Week at the Plot on a Thursday afternoon. It's about two o'clock and this here is a branch of a hawthorn tree. It has the most fabulous flower on it, such a rich red colour, burgundy in fact. And our neighbours were taking this tree down. I said that I'd love to have a branch so that I could do cuttings and that's exactly what I'm going to do. So they cut this down this morning. It's about two o'clock in the afternoon now. I wrapped the end in wet loo paper and then put a rubber band around. You can mostly just see the rubber band in there. And then the hole went into a plastic bag which was wet inside and has been secured with rubber bands as well. So I'm hoping that this will be fine to do cuttings from even though it's maybe six hours since this branch was cut off. Ideally you want to do everything virtually immediately. I'm hoping it'll be okay because it's in a semi-dormant state at the moment though I did notice when I looked up close that let's get in there can you see those buds there so it is beginning to grow which is which is fine i i hope that this will do okay as cuttings i mean it's a it's a pretty sort of robust plant anyway and of course hawthorns do tend to root quite happily whether this one will or not i don't know if i get one hawthorn out of it i'll be really happy if i get more than one i'll be ecstatic and i don't have any compost so what i'm going to do is just cut sections about a foot long so this here will be cut into two sections that of, that's about two foot that branch and I'm going to make a slice in this bed with a spade and then I'm going to put rooting powder onto the end of the cutting and then just heal the cutting in. As you might be able to hear it's just starting to rain. Hopefully that's just a, a fleeting shower because I'd love to have the camera here to just show you what I'm doing. Anyway, first job is to just weed this bed a little bit. There's a fever few here and I'll just tidy it up because it survived this far into the winter. So I'm sure it will survive the rest of the winter. But the other weeds that are in here, I'm just going to take out. So I'm going to get on with doing that and then I'll be taking cuttings. As I say, about a foot long. So this branch here. I think we'll get two foot long or foot long ish cuttings off there. So let me just cut that back. I've cut a few others off, so let's just go into the poly. This bit is the one that we just cut off that I think will make two cuttings. So I'm just going to slant the cutting like that when I cut it. And then this end which is cut at a slant at the moment, I'm just going to cut straight like that. That's going into rooting powder. Tap off. Into rooting powder. I think I'll just trim that one back a bit to there. This one again, I think we'll make two. So let's just cut it there. Just going to trim those off a bit into the rooting powder. This one into the rooting powder. This one's quite a bit shorter. I think I'm just going to cut it back to here. Take some of those off at the bottom and give that clean cut again. 
into the rooting powder. And now back to the bed. Thirty-three cuttings taken and popped into the ground. They've all been given a really good firming with my boot and I hope that they will do well or at least, well I hope they'll all do well but I at least hope we'll have a few to take to our next home because it really is such a, a lovely, lovely colour of bloom. Not often seen in a hawthorn. I'm glad I have taken those cuttings because the tree from which that branch came from was spectacular. It, it really, really was. I know I've mostly said that two or three times already, but the blossom, it, it's difficult to describe. It's sort of like a maroony, reddy purple. And it was seen as we got to the top of our first flight of stairs in the house out of a side window and in the spring it was just so so magnificent and when our next door neighbour said that they felt it was getting a bit too high and needed to come down and out rather than down I just knew that I had to try and save it in one way or another and we certainly couldn't dig out the whole tree so I'm hoping as I've said that some of those cuttings will take because of course when you do take cuttings as long as they do take properly and root well and grow on they are mini me's of whatever you've taken the cutting from where quite often you will hear us talking about planting seeds and those seeds not necessarily coming true so even though I could have planted seeds from that hawthorn tree over the past few years, I'd have no guarantee that it would have come true to the, to the tree that we saw until this morning. So, yeah, you know. And now I look out that window and I can see the back of our, our neighbour's house, which isn't unattractive, but, you know, so sad not to see that tree. But hey ho, we have done what we can to try and give that tree in another form another life and I hope they will take. Right, I'm going to leave it here for this first segment of a week at the plot. I look at my clock to see what time it is but I need to change the battery so I don't know what time. It must be about three, something like that now. And before I go home I'm going to take a quick walk up the canal which is what I'm trying to do at least every other day. I didn't get a walk in yesterday, so I have to get it in today. See you very soon. Bye. Good day. A very late visit to the plot. It's about quarter past four on Saturday. And I want to get a job done. And that is simply going to be to cut back this buddleia in the foreground. There's also a buddleia up here. So the one I'm cutting back is here. Buddleia up here as well. That will have to do for another day because I'll need help 
in order to do that. And my next door plot neighbours, um, it's our boundary and they will, as usual, be incredibly um, forthcoming in helping do that. So I'm going to crack on and just cut the lengths of this growth back to maybe right back to sort of where it comes from the the base which will be most probably about a foot from the ground and then I can decide what I do with the base afterwards. So first up grab my secateurs and some gloves and I will get in here and start cutting this back. Right, that's that cut back. I've left some here on the ground because we're going to do some cuttings here. And I'm just going to get on and do those. Now I'm doing them in exactly the same way as I did the hawthorn the other day. So I'm going to get on and do those and then we'll have a closer look at what is left here. Right, this up here, the topmost, is most probably about three foot. There's lots of sort of straggle in here. So I'm just going to clean up the sort of bits that are there. If there's any, you'll find that there, there are some dead bits. Take those dead bits out. and take those dead bits out as far down as you can. Again, if there's crossing branches, take those out as well. Right, hopefully you can see that's much cleaner and what I've decided to do is I'm going to get my loppers and I'm going to take this further down. By cutting everything back and then by cutting it back to this point I can see the shape. Now in here, there, there, there it's quite a bit of dead. I don't have my saw with me today. That's from where it hadn't been maintained for quite a few years before I took on the plot. And it was growing up really quite tall, like the ones at the back of the, at the side of the poly here. So what I'm going to do now is get my loppers and take everything down to maybe a foot and a half. And then... I'll live with it and see if I want to thin it out any further. But yeah, first of all, I'll get my loppers. I think I might take this one out completely. Yeah, I'll take that one out completely. 
and I'll take that one out completely as well. But then I'll just take everything else down to about a foot and a half. There's a growth point here. In fact, there's a growth point here. I'm going to cut it back to here to see if there's life here. Which there isn't. So that is going completely. This I'm going to bring down to a growth point at the back here. And take this one down to a growth point. Just there. There. Right, so now what I did then is I looked, I don't like these, they're sticking out. That's better. So that's most probably about a foot and a half high now. Let's see if we can go further down to the ground with the camera, then you can see. So yeah, it's most probably maybe a foot and three quarters high. And what I'm hoping for is a lot of young growth to come off these branches this year. And that will give us some really fabulous flowers at head height and just above head height which is lovely you know because if there's any butterflies and pollinators around this year we'll see them at head height which would be fabulous a buddleia is really incredibly robust so cutting it back like this is not going to do it any harm whatsoever it's just keeping it in check we often see them growing from masonry on buildings and in gutters and things like that. So they really are sort of rugged and robust. And I'm sure this one will really uh, thrive this year and give us lovely flowers at head height. It's a beautiful dark, dark purple variety, which is why I wanted to take some cuttings. And if any of those cuttings take, then that's great. What I have made sure is that everything that I've left, I've looked at the top of where I've cut to make sure that it's green or very, very, very pale green, i.e. it is growing and not dead. Anything that was dead, I've taken back down to the base of where it was growing from. But you can see here, that one looks a little bit dead because that bit that comes up there will have died. But in front of it is this bit here, which is coming off, which is alive and well. So, yeah, let's see how this does later in the year. A quick job, but a good job. Now I need to just clear up all the later cuttings or the, the detritus that I've got at the side of me here. Just looking at this from another angle now. Yeah, quite happy with that. We've been joined by a host of wildlife. Well, actually, some of the wildlife we joined. There's a toad on the other side of this buddleia. There was a uh, frog in the Claytonia, which is the green just beyond that you can see through the buddleia. And two robins have joined us as well. They thought we were going to be disturbing soil and give up some worms for them. But... Um, they haven't been in luck for that, but I think that bed is going to be a bed that we'll get on with in the next, well, next week, if not tomorrow. 
won't take long just to hand weed it and get on top of it like we did with the cuttings bed over there earlier in the week and if we just go over there you can see that what I say is what I do and these at the back this back row the row closest to us if you like so it's back from my shed rather than back from where I'm standing while kneeling well squatting actually um, yes yeah, so the closest row to us that's one two three four five six buddlier cuttings that I put in just rubbing the leaves off the lower oh, about six eight inches putting it into rooting powder and then popping it into the ground like we did with the hawthorn and as you can most probably see gosh it looks much brighter through here than it actually looks to me but the light is fading and uh, it's time to go home and have a cup of tea might even have a glass of wine this evening oh can you see that willow down there you most probably can't there in the center right down there that willow I don't think it's in focus but it's looking rather lovely anyway yes before I waffle on I'll leave it there for today see you again very soon bye Good day. Well, that's that part of the bed we did, which I'm quite happy about. Just a hand weed, just sort of maybe 10, 15 minutes, something like that. And I'm just going to carry on tidying up the other parts of this bed as well. And also the one on the far side where we put the cuttings in earlier in the week because on the other side there's quite a bit of dead stuff that needs cutting back even though we're going to be growing mainly flowers I think in these beds this year we're going to be using them as a cuttings nursery and as a wildlife area for attracting wildlife with flowers and other things so yeah I'm just going to crack on and then we'll have a look at it in a moment well half an hour that's the buddleia that I did yesterday and then the bed at the end that I gave a weed to that will be growing in and then I've taken out all the grass and weeds that I don't want in these two areas here and I'm going to be sowing some wildflower seeds into those two areas because those are the places where I want wildflowers and pollinating or flowers for pollinators rather. This bed I will do another day and tidying up this area. But yeah, bit by bit, job by job and it gets the work done. It has started to drizzle and I think it's going to be in for a while. It must be about three o'clock in the afternoon, something like that. So I've done a job. I'm happy with what I've done this afternoon. And in fact, today that's been the perfect job for me to get on with a quiet and a meditative job. Sadly, we heard yesterday that one of our, our tenants, one of our, our growers on this allotment site died and um yeah so i've been sort of you know thinking about him whilst i was doing what i was doing today uh, a lovely guy a very very helpful guy and i think you know it, it, as i've said before you know an allotment site is a microcosm of society and i think this might be the first time that somebody that i've really been quite um you know engaged with on the the site uh, will no longer be here which is a, a yeah a, a great shame and 
he was regularly at working parties and things like that. So, of course, we passed on condolences to um, to his friend and uh, I'll be sending her a card tomorrow from the whole of the association. So, yeah, it's uh, it's been an interesting week, really. Cuttings, new life there, you know, potentially, fingers crossed. Um, weeding and and then you know the the loss um, of life as well that that certainly is a microcosm of society in a in a week so yeah you know but I had some really good times with the guy and um, he helped us enormously on on the site here so lots of happy memories but I'm glad I have those you know that hour just there to myself to just get on and do things and um yeah yeah anyway i won't ramble on i won't ramble on i will see you again next week for a further upload of a week at the plot if you watch on youtube and of course if you're a member of planet vegetaria then there'll be a couple of segments two or three maybe four who knows segments as we go through the week which of course make up the full upload of A Week at the Plot. I think I might also, I was looking at the footage yesterday of me cutting down the buddleia and I think I might do a bit of, what's it, ASMR? I might upload that whole real-time footage of me cutting down that buddleia because, yeah, the parakeets were really going for it at points and... We had some wildlife jumping in, as I say, with the robins. So, yeah, I think I might do that as a standalone video. Um, yeah, we'll see. We'll see. Anyway, I'm rambling, aren't I? I'm rambling. Right, I'm going to go. Whatever you're doing, I hope it is going well. I hope your plans are going well if you're not actually in the middle of growing at the moment. And if you've got any comments, please leave them below. Any questions, leave them below. And if you want to join us on Planet Vegetaria, please do. And uh, thank you to all of you who have signed up to my medium writing. Um, I'm just astounded to have now over 130 followers on there in such a short space of time. So thank you very much for that. And there will be another upload on there of my writing later. Well, next week, next week. See you very soon. Bye.